Chasi Chicken Karahi, the simplest yet most flavorful chicken recipe you'll ever make. This dish uses just a handful of ingredients but packs a punch with its incredible taste, all ready within 30 minutes. Welcome back to Burmawala Kitchen. Today, leave a comment below and let us know where you're watching from. Let's get cooking. Start by adding half a cup of oil to a deep pan and bring it to high heat. Melt in one tablespoon of luxurious ghee for that extra richness. Now add one whole skinless chicken cut into eight pieces. Toss in one tablespoon each of fragrant garlic and ginger paste and one tablespoon of salt. We need to fry this chicken on high heat for about 15 minutes. Keep it moving constantly. We don't want anything sticking and burning at the bottom. About seven minutes in, sprinkle in two tablespoons of freshly ground black pepper powder. Keep frying until the chicken develops a beautiful golden color. This dish requires your full attention. Keep the heat high and stay vigilant moving the chicken around continuously. Next, add five whole large juicy tomatoes cut in half. Fry the tomatoes with the chicken for about 5 minutes. Then cover the pan with a lid to soften the tomato skins. Once the skins have softened, use tongs to remove them. With the tomato skins removed, it's time to crush the tomatoes into the curry. Use a sturdy wooden spatula to thoroughly smash them, ensuring they incorporate well into the dish. Continue cooking on high heat. Use a splatter guard to keep your kitchen clean as this curry tends to splatter a lot. Peek under the lid every minute and give it a good stir. After about 10 more minutes, the chicken should be cooked through. One way to tell is when the aromatic oil rises to the top. Now, add some large vibrant green chilies to the pan.
Again, because we're cooking on high heat and there's a lot of splattering, keep your kitchen tidy as you go. Cover with a lid for a few minutes to soften the chilies. And there you have it. Our chasi chicken karahi is ready. Absolutely stunning and incredibly easy. The aroma is divine and the taste will be even better. This is a classic street dish typically cooked in large metal karahis. But now you can make it right at home. Serve this with fresh warm tandoori naan. Top it off with some fresh coriander ginger slices, and if you want extra heat, a few chopped green chilies will do the trick. Thanks for joining me once again. Be sure to check out our newly launched website, Burma Walla Kitchen, where we have all our recipes detailed with extra pictures and tips. Happy cooking!